payboxtimer.com. We have a universal paybox timer device. And what it is, it's a device that handles anything between 120 volts to 240 volts. Um, <clears throat> as to an input and output. And as you can see, the timer is decreasing. Lockable. So this device can be used to power anything. Uh, air conditioner, washer, dryer, lights, uh, car chargers, whatever you can think of, we can do it. As long as the rating is between 120 to 240 volts, it runs both on 60 hertz and 50 hertz, which is universal. So it will work worldwide, Europe, South America, uh, and any other continent. So we are going to demonstrate that um, we've attached it to a charger, a Tesla charger. Uh, prior to this, this box Tesla charger did not accept uh, credit cards payments. So now we're able to, with our box, convert a regular Tesla charger to a paid unit. The unit can be installed inside or outside. It is waterproof and uh, it uh, gives the ability for an owner, an apartment building, landlord, property management company, uh, shopping mall to use our uh, device and convert not just Tesla chargers but any charger to a, a paid device. And so we're going to just demonstrate that anything that <clears throat> is up to 48 amps the box can can handle and anything over 48 amps you can attach it to a external contactor for uh, larger amperages that could include uh, condominium one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom apartments where you want to charge uh, people for the electricity so essentially it's an electricity meter that allows you to attach any device to the um, to our network, um, it does not need Wi-Fi. Uh, the only thing that uh, is required is that the person using it has a mobile phone that has internet access, whether it be through their service provider or their home Wi-Fi. So we're going to give you a demonstration of how this works with the Tesla charger. This is a Tesla third generation universal, but it will work with anything. So we have our, our Tesla, and we uh, will show you that we've currently purchased an hour and 46 minutes of time. As you see the timer countdown. And we're gonna start to charge our Tesla. Again, we've now we've plugged in our Tesla charger into our car and see as it's flashing plug in and we go to our Tesla charger and that we can see now that there is three hours and twenty minutes remaining of the charge it's running at 48 amps at 11 kilowatts per hour. And so this is a perfect solution for people, landlords, any location that wants to, that currently has a, a charger and would like to make it a pay charger. The funds from the credit card transaction go directly into the landlord's bank account.
for this, this demonstration, demonstration we've uh, used a dryer plug for our source, which is a 240 volts at 30 amps. Just for the demonstration, we could also use connect it directly to the panel loss. So to run uh, 48 amps, you would need a 60 amp breaker. And your local uh, electrician would know exactly uh, what to uh, set the breaker to that. 